Hello, my name is Matthew, and I have the privilege of being paid by Ericsson to make the world a better place through open source, and for that, I am grateful. I wanted to do a bit of an academic um, test today. I have a C program here, and it basically makes an array of 50 million events, a 2D array, and you have the choice of iterating through the columns first, or through the rows. So iterate rows and iterate columns. This is the only difference. Either rows, columns, or columns, rows. And we also have, for fun, memset here. Now, we made this program. And you see there's no logging in it. And yeah, you could do a printf and get your time and do all that. I find that with LTT and GUtils, it's easier to just build and profile like this. Now, there is a hidden uh, test that I'm doing here, too. I am running this in a VM. And I want to know if VMs work the same way as bare metal. So we built the program Array Compare. Now let's record the trace. Okay, look, you have one command here and you get the trace out of it. I think that's pretty cool. Now we have the output here. I'm going to copy the output. Then I'll make a new. tracing project. I'm going to call this one array fun. And then I'm going to import paste. Import everything. And now we have both traces in but they're already in an experiment. I open the experiment. And all of these features we've looked at before. So here we go. We now have our trace that's loaded. And if you look, you can actually see here the little UST markers, which means that our UST is there. We have our resource view and our control flow view there. Let's bring up our call stack, our flame chart from the incubator. Bring it up here so we can see it better. We have main and main calls initialize array, iterate rows, iterate columns. If you look, iterate columns takes about a second. Iterate rows takes one point or 175 milliseconds an initialize array, which is using memset, takes about half that time. So you know now that memset is faster than going through your array to initialize all the data. And going row by row is much faster than going column by column. If you wanted to have this in a textual form, instead of using the call stack, you can go to your descriptive statistics. I'll bring it up here. And... You can see here that initialize array, 93 milliseconds. Iterate on the rows, 177. Iterate on the columns, 962. I find that to be very fun, and I want to show how fast it is to trace compared to um, just instrumenting the code yourself. The code was not instrumented. All we did was we compiled with F instrument functions and PG. But not only that, we're able to get the CPU data and correlate it also. This is good because it shows you what's going on. So this is our demo. Thank you very much.